All right, Eddie G from GF7 Fit. We're doing a Willy bag round, continue to round one. Um, got my cameraman this time, so he's gonna help me. So you can see the numbers up there. If you're not familiar with the numbers, go back and watch the other videos. I'm not gonna break everything down, but we're just gonna get ready. Thing with the Willy bag, when you start doing the Willy bag, you wanna be close to the bag, all right? And then you can see the numbers up here. Every number is a punch. Again, if you need to know what punch the numbers are, uh, go back and watch the first couple videos I did, all right? So, thing with the Willy bag, you wanna, your coach would say the numbers and then you will hit them. So today I'm gonna be coach and student. So I'm gonna go kind of slow, but I'm gonna try to be quick when I do the punches. Every time you punch, you wanna move out the way. So um, we'll start with like a six one. So if I'm close to the bag here, I've already came in, so I'm already coming far away. I've already either come in, I've already jabbed either to the stomach, I've either jabbed to the face, I've already, I've already come in, right? I'm already in, I'm already in. So once I'm in, I can go like six one. So here, six one, and then I would move side to side. So again, I'm already close, I would go six, one, move back and forth, okay? My back's a little sore from doing a lot of deadlifts, so I got the weight belt on. But this is what you wanna do. You wanna do six, one. So you're here, close to the bag, your hands are high, you're six, one, moving side to side. Okay, you will work on that for about a minute. Here, you're here, six, one, boom, back and forth, right? You're here, again, you're close to the bag, six, one, and then come back off to, towards the side, and back on, on the other side, right? And then again, you're here, six, one, boom, right? And then you're back to the other side, back to the other side. And your legs are bent, chin is down in that position. You're in here, six, one, boom. You gotta say the number, your coach would say the number, six, one, you would hit it. Six, one, it gives you a little break to recover. Six, one, rest, six, one, rest. So it would look like six, one, rest. Reset, you know? Reset, you're close, and then again, six, one. And then you would rest, reset, right? Six, one. And you will work on those numbers for a while. Next number's up at six, one, five, you add a punch. So you go, you're close to the back, you go six, one. You remember how I was finishing on the side? So you're here, six, one, and the five is there, five. See how the five is there? It's there if you're moving after the punch. So like if you're, if you're like six one and you're moving already, and the five, the five is there. The five to the, to the liver, the liver shot is there. And again, the number systems are there in the other videos. So again, you're close to the bag. You've already either jabbed to the body, right? Or you've jabbed to the face, you've worked your way in. You come into the side, six, one, five, boom. Okay, you're close. You're back, six, one, six, one, five. And you're, you're out of the way, right? All right? So again, you're close to the body, you're close to the bag. Uh, you get speed that way. You know, you're moving after the punch all the time. So if six, one, you're moving, five, you're over here, and you're dead back. And you can come back again, all right? So here we go. Six, one, five, moving. Moving, all right? It's different because the willy bag usually doesn't move. It's usually a fixed apparatus on the wall. It's usually a fixed apparatus on the wall, the willy bag. Um, but this bag's moving, so it's a little more difficult on a punching bag. But this is just for a workout. This is the best workout for like cardio training. So that's why I use this one. So the next one is like five, six, one. So you've already worked your way in, right? You can even see here too. You work your way in, right? You're gonna go. You're gonna go five, six. You notice how I'm moving five, six. The one is there, and you come back, and you come back. And then when you come back on this side, and then you come back on this side, you're five, six, one. You move, you move, and then you're back, right? Five, six, one, moving, moving, you're back. And five, six, one, moving, moving, you're back, right? Five, six, one, moving, moving, and you're back. Five, six, one, moving. Moving over here, and then you're back. So, five, six, one, boom, back, right? Five, six, one, back. You're staying covered. You know, obviously the bag doesn't hit back, but if you were sparring, you're anticipating being hit back. That's why you're moving. Your hands are high. In case you get hit, in case you get hit, you have your guard high. And if you get hit, as soon as you get hit, I mean, you're moving, so they're gonna hit you. It'd be a grazing punch if they hit you. All right, so again, 
That's a five six one. So five six one here. Five six one. Move to the side. You gotta move afterwards. So here we go. Five six one. Five six one. Moving. Moving. Okay. Five six one. Five six one. Moving. Moving. Cover. Rest. And then your trainer will say five six one. Five six one. Moving. Moving. You rest. Right. Again here. Five six one. Moving. Moving. All right. Five, six, one, moving, moving. All right, but you're kind of close to the bag. You're in a cross position. Your hands are high. Next one would be five, six, five. So body punches down here. You're gonna go five, six, five. You're gonna move five, six, five, moving, moving. Huh? All right. Five, six, five, moving, moving. Right? Right? Five, six, five, moving, moving. Right? Five, six, five. Right? And then you say, five, six, five. You know? Five, six, five. Move and move. Five, six, five. Five, six, five. Move, move. Gotta move after the punch. All right? Five, six, five. Move, move. All right? Five, six, five. Move, move. All right? You're on this ankle. You're close to the bag. Five, six, five down here. Five, six, five. Move. Right to the left. You don't move twice. I need to move once. Right? Five, six, five. Move. Move. Hands are high. Right? Five, six, five. Move. 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 All right. Then you take a break. That'd be probably round one. You can do round two. Um, you had a punch. Eight, six, six, four. You have a minute off. You go eight, six, six, four. Right? So that's the jab to the body. Here. Right to the body. Here. Then you're on this side. And then six. And then four. Boom. So you're marking the distance. You're far away. You're here. You're eight. Boom. Then six. You shift your feet. And then six. Four. And then you move. All right? So you mark the distance here with the eight. Jab to the stomach, boom, right to the spleen, boom, shifting your feet, and then six, and then a four, boom, and then back and forth, okay? You can also just go six, six, four. You can double up on the right hand. You can be on this side here. You can go six, six, four, and move afterwards, all right? So, you can stay on this side here. You can go six, six, four, boom, and then come back. All right? You can go six, six, four. But you can come in here. You're just trying to be quick. Eight, six, six, four, move, move. So you're right here. Eight, six, boom, six, four, boom. I always like to, to the four, I have to throw a hook myself, you know? But that's not part of the thing because it's kind of, it's kind of sometimes you're not going to always be able to move after the punch. You're kind of in an upper position. So if you're here, six, 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 four, you're finished here, right? You can do a quick here. So you're eight, six, six, four, boom, boom, you're back. Six, six, four. Now the back's rotating. The bag's rotating, but the punch is the same. So even if I didn't have this, the punches would be the same. So I already know that the eight says jab to the body. So, and I know the six is the right to the spleen. So even if I don't have it, go eight, six, right? I can already move eight, six, and then six, four. I'm here, I'm six, four, one, you know? Um, so don't let it fall. You don't have to hit the number right on the sides exact same number. What you do gotta do is make sure the punch is the corresponding punch. So when the eight, eight is the jack to the body, boom. If it's a real tall guy, his belly button might be right here if he's like six six. Boom, you might hit him there. If he's a shorter guy, you might have to squat down, boom, hit him there, and then you come over. And then six there, right? So you kinda have to adjust. But again, this is more just for cardio, you know? I mean no gyms teach the system no more. This is the best system for conditioning. Uh, boxers these days are not conditioned. They, this is how boxers box these days. 
like robots. They're like this. One, then they cover up. And then they go, one, two, they cover up. Boxing has become very boring. You know, the days of Roberto Duran, all of those boxes were like, boom, 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 boom. They throw a bunch of pops, a bunch of punches in a, in a match. You don't have that no more. So this is old school, hands high, knees are bent, chin is tucked, you're throwing punches in bunches. People don't train this way no more, you know? It's a, it's a lost art. But if you train this way, you're gonna get a good heart, good conditioning, and it's gonna help you, all right? So it's eight, six, six, four. Um, the last one's one, two, one. Um, so remember, one, two, you're already moving when you throw the two. So you're moving, you don't just stay here, one, two, like the, like the typical two piece. You're, you're one, two, one, boom, on the side. Yeah, so if I'm over here, let me, I'm here, I'm gonna go one, two. And when I throw the one and the two, I'm already moving the two. I'm already on your side and I'm hitting you with the one over here. So I'm like here. One, two, one. I'm already on your side. So I've already moved twice. But you just don't see it, it's real subtle. It's like one, two, I've already moved. One over here. I've already moved to the left and I've already come back on the right. Right? So I'm here. One, two, one. One, two, one. I'm on your side. I can I can go to a five here. I can go I can go to a three there. I can come back on the side. I can do that same come with this dead. I can go six four. Boom. Right? Boom boom. I can go back with the one. So that's the thing. You're always in you're one, two, you're on the side. One, you can go left uppercut. Bow. You can come back over. You can go right to the body and uppercut. But you're on the side. See right here, I'm right in front of you. When I throw that uppercut. I'm coming from the side. I'm not standing in front of you so you can hit me. If you do hit me, you have to do this. Because uh, I'm on your side. I'm like, I'm right here hitting you on the uppercut. So this is the opponent. This is me. I would have to, if someone's going to hit you, you have to do that. You have to do this or this. There's no power in those punches. I'm on your side. I'm hitting you here, here. You have to completely shift your feet over. If you're a lefty or if you're a righty, I can't shift my feet with the weights are here. But you get the picture, you're on their side. So that's one, two, one. One, two, one, you're here, right? You're here, boom, boom, and then you're here, bam, right? So you're, you're one, two, one, boom. It's quick, it's here. One, two, one, boom. And again, one, two, one. You're on the side. After you've hit, you've already moved. You're in like position to move. And then you, the five is there, the three is there. So one, two, one, five, boom. You wanna get that extra punch in there. Right? And that's what the custom model system teaches. You can't be lazy. You're in here, right? You're coming in. One, two, one. Five. Come back around. You can get six, four if you wanted to. Six, four. One. You know, you can throw punches and bunches. And you're throwing with your legs, throwing with your back. You know, you're getting down. You're throwing the left uppercut here. Boom. You're throwing the left hook. Boom. Right? You're throwing the one, two. Uh, with authority, you can also go one, two, but I uh, move to the other side, so you're not predictable. I'm always gonna move to the same side. I can come over here and go one, two, right, right here. It's gonna be harder because it's tough here. There you go, one, two, and I move to your side. I can go six, four here. Six, four, but I'm on the side. I get back on the other side, and I can go, I can go like three, one, three, one, you know? You have options because you're moving, but, the other boxing experience is you're just here, like this, right in front of the guy, getting hit back. No, this one, you're here, man. You're, yeah, you know, you're boom, boom. You know, punches and punches, punches that are gonna make damage. So if you like this, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, these are conditioning drills, man. Peace out, have a good weekend.